When looking through the halls of a museum, many bones of extinct animals can be seen. Animals such as Smilodon or non-avian dinosaurs are long forgotten remnants of our past. Though humans witness some of these extinct creatures such as the fearsome Smilodon, we cannot see them in the modern era. We can only imagine what they may have looked like. Detailed cave art can help us imagine the beauty of these long forgotten creatures. Chavette Cave in southern France is full of amazing illustrations of now extinct animals. Cave lions, hyenas, cave bears, leopards, horses, aurochs, and mammoths are all present. The drawings date to about 30,000 years ago. Two of these animals, the horse and the aurochs, are not necessarily extinct. Their descendants live on in the form of domesticated horses and cattle. But the parent species to their domestic counterparts are extinct. Of the wild horse species that once roamed Europe, the tarpan was among the most prevalent. Tarpans were present in Europe until the late 1800s. They became extinct due to hunting, habitat loss, and inbreeding. Another species that had roamed for thousands of years was the great aurochs. Aurochs inhabited Asia, North Africa, and all over Europe. They were much larger and stronger than modern cattle and could weigh over 3,000 pounds. Many illustrations of this animal can be found in Pleistocene cave art. They were likely hunted by these ancient people. Domestication of the aurochs occurred around 10,000 years ago in the Near East. The aurochs in Europe were likely never domesticated and rather cattle was brought from the Near East and distributed throughout Europe. Aurochs went extinct in England during the Bronze Age but survived in mainland Europe for much longer. In Bronze Age culture throughout Europe, aurochs were hunted for ceremonial purposes. Their great horns were prized as trophies as well as a massive amount of meat that could be harvested. The Hebrew Bible contains numerous references to what have been confirmed to be the great aurochs. As the hunting of this animal continued, it became more rare. In classical times, it was only allowed to be hunted by nobility. Their horns were prized for drinking mugs, and many of these mugs survive today. The aurochs would slowly disappear throughout Western Europe until it went extinct by the Middle Ages. It survived in Eastern Europe until about 400 years ago when the species finally became extinct. Interestingly, references to the beast are still present in some languages. In Russia, a drunken person behaving badly was described as behaving like an aurochs, whereas in Poland, big, strong people were characterized as being a bloke like an aurochs. The extinction of the aurochs throughout Europe was very problematic to the health of the ecosystem. Some consider it to have been a keystone species. Its huge appetite acted as a gardening service for the forests of Europe and this allowed many species to thrive. Though they are now extinct, through backbreeding it is possible to produce an animal nearly identical to the aurochs. Instead of using complex gene manipulation that would be needed to bring back the mammoth, backbreeding is more simple. Aurochs genes can be found in modern cattle and can be bred to produce animals that look almost identical to the famous aurochs. Luckily we have been able to sequence their genome and this can be used to create very similar animals. It is estimated by 2025 the genetics of these bulls would be good enough to independently survive in the wild. The problem with releasing a different herbivore into the environment is because they would be eaten by wolves. Goats or sheep are easy pickings for wolves and they also don't eat as much as cattle. These giant wild cattle will be able to defend themselves and hopefully help the environment they are placed into. It is possible there are unforeseen consequences involved with the reintroduction of a large cattle species. In other examples such as the reintroduction of bison across Europe, it was shown to be very successful. To me this is one of the coolest things ever. This just gets my hopes up for the possible de-extinction of the mammoth. Sure, the mammoth is in a whole nother ballpark of difficulty, but imagine how cool that would be. Aurochs are such an interesting animal and they served a large purpose in our prehistory. Hopefully these breeding programs can be successful and wild aurochs will once again return to the forests of Europe. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this rather unique video. I hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode of Northo 2. See ya.